Hi, Anthony Samroff with The Outlier, just here with some of the cast of Bristol Old Vic Theatre School Student Ensemble, their excellent production of Comedy of Errors, one of Shakespeare's uh, comedies, a slapstick. And your version was like really fun. You break the third wall and you make, you put it forth in a way that all ages could understand, kids could come and enjoy, enjoy the show, but there was a lot of adults there too. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how it came together? Yeah, so um, Bristol Vic Theatre School have been coming to the Fringe now for a few years. Uh, they've been adapting stories, they're uh, doing Shakespeare, uh, there's other companies that are doing like Beowulf and a lot of really good accessible shows for people of all ages. Um, I personally was really inspired by uh, the Emma Rices of this world who take Shakespeare and make it a lot more accessible and make people um, sort of just understand it more and play around with it and have fun because it, the, the stories are like the stories are 400 years old. They need to be uh, revamped sometimes. And um, we, uh, we did an adaptation by Toby Hulse, who's been coming to the Fringe quite a few times, and he really is just a comic genius. Um, and, Incredible yeah. writer. Yeah. Um, there, goes the there, there goes the poster. Well, well, well that's far, farcical. Uh, yeah. just, just like the show. Just in the spirit of the <laughs> yeah. show. So like yeah, um, so. how, what did you guys enjoy most about putting it together? Because you guys have got great chemistry on stage. And how did you develop that um, seamlessness in your performance? Well, I guess, I mean, because a lot of us are at school together. Yeah. So we've um, we've kind of spent a lot of time together and had a chance to kind of like get, get, a, get a good chemistry like over the past like few months that we've been together at school and then yeah we had like three intensive weeks uh, over the summer that we kind of like just basically drilled um, drilled it really but it was kind of through you know blood sweat and tears and fun that, uh, that it sort of came together I guess yeah. I agree. and you, you added a lot of comedy of your own to uh, um, breaking the th uh, third wall uh, condensing some parts with extraneous uh, material and comedy so how did that come about was there a lot of improvisation involved and cooperation yeah but, yeah. Well, I think Toby's script in itself uh, lends itself to being very personable to the audience. Um, his writing is just incredible. If you ever see Toby Hulse's name, go and watch a show. Um, I also think that it's developed through time, and I think every show is different, and you have to kind of play to your audience. If you have like a lot of kids in the show, you, you want to like connect with those kids, <laughs> and if you have like adults, you just have to change your temperament. So I oh, think I think it's never the same. So we literally don't really know what's going to improvising yeah. around it. So elevator pitch, tell people why they should come and see it. Um, well, yeah, basically this is a really, really great introduction to Shakespeare for kids. Um, but if you're an adult, I think you'll have a lot of fun watching it as well. Um, introduction for adults though as well, because yeah. I'm not sure that everyone's super familiar with the story. Because mm -hmm. um, my mum never seen the Shakespeare, she came and watched it and she loved it and understood it, so yeah. no shame in that. <laughs> so there you have it, yeah, it's um, accessible Shakespeare for all ages. And I definitely give that a strong recommendation, so come down and see the Comedy of Errors, Bristol Old Vic Student Ensemble, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.